Hey what's up brothers, Instinct here for yet another video and as mentioned in one of our previous videos we're going to talk about my new plate carrier, the Tasmanian Tiger Plate Carrier QRLC. Now before we're going to talk about my new plate carrier, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button, share our videos, have a look at recombrothers.com for our monthly quality giveaways and have a look at shop.recombrothers.com for your quality tactical needs. So, as for today, we'll be talking about my new plate carrier and in the meanwhile, we'll be comparing it to my brother Viper, his older plate carrier, the Tasmanian Tiger Plate Carrier MK3. This way we can see the new features and the differences between both carriers. So let's first talk about the material. Both the QRLC and the MK3 are made of 700 denier cordura, which would apparently be the ideal combination between the lightweight 500 denier cordura and the strength of the 1000 denier cordura in order to stay durable. The QRLC carrier is a unisex carrier which weighs 1300 grams, which is 50 grams more than the MK3. Now the added weight comes from the quick release systems, but to compensate that they chose to use laser cut molly instead of the stitched molly. In practice, the laser cut molly is a bit harder to use, but it gives a very smooth and clean look. Now, if you have some troubles yourself with mollying your pouches onto your carrier or belt, have a look at the link in the description down below because we already made a video about how to molly with some handy tips and tricks. Also, like with the MK3, the QRLC has some nicely finished stitching. The front and back panel allow the use of sappy sized plates and the thickness won't be a problem as this one features a stretchy material on the side, unlike with the MK3. Also the removal and insertion of your plates has become easier than before with the MK3, whereas you needed to adjust multiple eternal straps with velcro you now only need to adjust one. Now as with any backpack or plate carrier from Tasmanian Tiger, the inside features a mesh lining system for maximum ventilation in physically demanding situations. Now, as mentioned before, the front and back panel feature laser cut molly, on which the back panel features a 9x6 panel with two rows of molly on top, whereas the MK3 features a velcro loop on top. The front features a 7x6 panel, just as the MK3. On top of that, it features a 3x4 panel, whereas the MK3 had a 3x6 panel. But on the side, it features two bigger molly loops in order for you to quickly change your front panel. In order to quickly switch your setup, the bottom four rows feature velcro in order for you to quickly attach or remove velcro pouches or entire panels. The top also features three rows with velcro for you to attach your personal ID. In addition to that, the QRLC features a slick admin pouch for you to store documents, maps or other small stuff. This is definitely an added value as carrying an additional admin pouch mostly interferes with your magazines or other pouches. The shoulder straps have had some improvements as well. Just as with MK3 they're adjustable but the way to do it is way easier. The shoulder pads feature mesh for venting unlike the MK3. In addition to that, you can also easily fixate your tubes and wires. Now due to how the new shoulder straps are designed, they have the ability to slide out of position, while the MK3 version has fully fixed shoulder straps. Now my experience says that it doesn't happen that often. The new shoulder straps also feature a quick release system on both sides, which are made of a very strong plastic and are very easy in use for you to quickly remove your carrier. As for the cummerbunds you get with this QRLC plate carrier are both the vented sides as well as the closed sides which allow you to use side plates. The cummerbunds are also length adjustable through the back panel but overall this is hard to do than with the MP3. Just as the shoulders both cummerbunds feature a quick release system which is not only very easy in usage it also allows for a silent removal of the carrier. Unlike with the MK3 which has cummerbunds with velcro that have their own particular light sound. Another good thing about the quick release system is that you will always have the exact same fit as when it was fitted to you. Only downside is, when you start wearing more layers depending on the weather, it might get a too tight fit and you need to adjust the whole thing on the back again. 
Now besides the quick release system, TT also added two integrated front pockets behind the quick release system. These are ideal to store your radio system which makes it easy accessible or for additional magazines for example. The downside is that these pockets are pretty big and have no retention so you need an additional fixation in order to not lose your stuff. In a way due to your radio for example sitting close to your body it might feel like it's pushing against your ribs. Some may like it, others may not, at least I'm liking it this way thus far. In overall the QR LC plate carrier shows a lot of improvements compared to the MK3 I used to use. It's a very lightweight and comfortable plate carrier with a slim design and a small profile which allows for a lot of movement capabilities. By the way, if you guys want to learn more about fitting your plate carrier, setting it up and testing your setup, have a look at the link in the description down below as we made a video about that already in the past. If you're looking for either carriers, you can find them at our online store shop.weekendbrothers.com. They are both available in a Coyote Brown, Olive Drab and Black version. Thanks for watching, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button and we'll see you next week.